Hi guys, there are heaps of boxes moving going on. A lot to sell, a lot to get rid of. But the thing is, we're going to new home finally, yeah? Hi guys, this is Jin Ken Cook. A lot of packing going on at the moment. I'm having a really late lunch because I'm removing house finally to new home. Actually, our first home. So I'm pretty excited about it. I have a really good stress going on here. All part of life. And quickly, I made this tonkatsu sauce with the homemade tonkatsu with the sweet corn macaroni pasta and um, Swiss cheese and fried eggs and slice of lemon here. Luckily, I've made um, this tonkatsu the other day. So like busy today, so I couldn't have time to cook much. But I really don't want to eat like instant noodles today. I cook this one and before I eat, I'll show you how did I prep the tonkatsu. So these are ingredients here for pork tonkatsu. So I just bought this one from the Coles, two packet. One packet has six pieces and seven dollars, roughly one piece is a dollar. So I bought two packets, so I'm gonna make heaps and I'm gonna put them in the freezer and I'm gonna take one by one whenever I cook it. So firstly, I'm gonna marinate with pork in milk with curry powder, give it a little bit more flavor and flour, normal flour and egg wash. I'm gonna crack three eggs. I got this panko breadcrumb. This is Japanese style breadcrumb. Much more cold than normal breadcrumb. Gives more texture when you fry them. I'm gonna mix with um, mixed herbs and parmesan cheese. Give more saltiness and more flavor and a little bit of a crust as well. So, really nice pieces. Pork loin. Not too much fat, perfect for tonkatsu. Put it in a bowl. One cup of milk, not too much. Two tablespoons of um, curry powder. Any curry powder will do. Just a little bit of touch. The pork, every meat has special smell. So this curry powder will take the particular smell away. And I believe milk will break the protein of the meat so tenderizing, just marinate like this half an hour, longer the better, but I don't have time today, put it away. And I'm going to prepare egg mix. Whisk in the egg mix, season a little bit, sea salt, crab pepper. The adding some mirin in the egg mix, give a little bit of nice sweetness and make egg more softer. Just a touch. Beautiful. Then I'm going to mix panko crumb. Open up. I got the big bowl for the bread crumb because um, when, when you do this prep, bread crumb goes everywhere. So make sure you get the big bowl of bread crumb so it doesn't go. Watch of mixed herbs. I don't want to put too much, but just chop 50 grams. Mix together. I can already smell of the parmesan cheese with natural umami. Once I used to put some feta in the breadcrumb, it went really, really well as well. After frying, oh my god, so beautiful. Put some flour into a bowl. So in the flour, I'll also season salt pepper on the flour as well. Because those are directly touching the meat. So seasoning on those three is very important. Salt. All right, guys. Pork is beautifully marinated, so it absorbs all the milk and curry powder. It changes the color and texture. I can touch it, it's even more softer now. So I drained roughly, still a little bit of sauce inside. So everything I put in order. So meat, and I'm gonna do dust flour and egg wash and meat the breadcrumb and I'm gonna portion on the side. And every layer gets this baking paper to non-stick each other. So this is how you work. So 
one piece of um, pork flour, egg wash, and put it in the breadcrumb. Using your back of a hand, you press. Put all this concentration. Press every meat. What the? See this giant finger, yeah? That's what I mean by the keep one finger always wet and other hand always dry. Giant finger. Look at this. My recipe is very flexible, you know? I don't care. Make sure you cover everywhere. And press, press. So this tonkatsu is beautifully done. So I'm just gonna put them in the freezer after wrap. And you can take one or two pieces out at a time. When you're frying them, it's okay to be frozen because the meat is nice and thin. That's why I will be back. Yeah? Pretty simple, yeah? Thank you. This egg yolk. Cheese is melting. So I'm gonna have a first bite. Mm, I forgot to drizzle the lemon. lemon juice. This sauce is really nice. Cardum and sauce and the egg yolk. A little bit of a Macaroni pasta, sweet corn. Yeah, guys, I'm moving my house this weekend. I'm really excited about not only having a new home, but also I can set up my kitchen beautifully for you guys. Nothing 100% in this world, but I'll be like focusing on a lot of cooking show instead of vlog. All right guys, now I'm going to show you how I cook this dish from scratch. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make cream corn macaroni salad. I'll get the water boiled and put some salt, pinch, drizzle some olive oil as well. So macaroni, one cup, stir times time. While it's boiling, so I'm gonna have a one can of um, Super sweet corn, I'm gonna drain first, put them in the bowl. One can is the 400 gram, four tablespoon of QP mayo, pinch of salt, pinch of sugar, crack some pepper. Once macaroni fully cooked, I'll wash them in cold water and mix in here and ready to go. So macaroni is fully cooked, make sure you wanna fully drain. Otherwise, you're gonna ruin the cream sauce. I'm gonna cover this and put it in the fridge. Now I'm going to do fried eggs. I drain a little bit of vegetable oil and crack one egg. Okay, once fully cooked, it's just moving itself. Put it on the side. Hands nice and clean already. And I'm going to deep fry the tonkatsu. Drain it one cup of um, vegetable oil. All right. The pan is nice and hot, oil slightly smoky, so I'm gonna drop the tonkatsu now. And put one more. When you put this cold tonkatsu, the oil temperature will drop instantly. And I'm gonna keep going to the rest as well, so I'm gonna keep just the fire induction as a maximum. 
Once you get the color on the outside, inside also cooked as well. The last piece done as well. So I'm going to put that on the side. I will make a sauce. Sauce pot on medium heat. And I will put two tablespoons of butter. Nicely melted. And when butter is completely melted, two tablespoons of flour, normal flour. So I'm like frying the flour into the butter. I'm gonna cook off on um, low heat until it gets brown. So you see um, flour is getting cooked in Staka now. Here, I'll put one cup of plain water, tomato sauce, ketchup, four tablespoons. And this one, I'm still hard to pronounce this. Ursusia sauce, like Ursusia sauce. Sorry guys, no English here. Eight tablespoons. Double the tomato sauce. So when it's boiling, turn off the heat and off the fire and keep stirring. So you don't want to burn them. Nice and thick already. Beautiful color. This is the tonkatsu sauce. All right. I have a good piece of um, tonkatsu. And I'll do sauce all over. Put one slice of cheese on top of the sauce. Let it melt with the heat of the sauce. And one fried eggs on top. And macaroni salad on the side. Couple of spoons. Lemon wedges. Here is an option. I'm gonna put some dried herbs. And personally, I like pepper, so put more pepper. So I'm having a second round. One more tonkatsu and one rice. And kimchi. Very well fermented. Oh. Oh, this tonkatsu was beautiful. It's very 100% like original Korean style. It's kind of sad to move out this house because we lived here nearly five years. I had my younger son here in Korea. When you meet someone and when you say bye someone, we say annyeong. Annyeong is hi as well as bye. So hi is another bye. So I may leave this place now. So I'm gonna meet some good place. It's all rotation. That's life. No time to be sad. Let's go! If Jin can cook, you can do anything, guys. Happy moving, guys. Happy life. Bye!